Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom. Bring you guys another video, guys. I promised you this video in the live stream last night, so that's exactly what we're gonna cover today. Is basically what is going on in season four of Fortnite, you guys. So basically, the whole meteor striked the little dusty depot, dusty divot, whatever you guys want to call it, and it basically took out all of this space right here. And it was the biggest meteor that hit. Now there were other meteors that hit other places like Prison, Tilted Towers. There's, I believe, one over there by Motel. There's just little baby meteors that hit everywhere, but this one this is the biggest one that really was dramatically a thing and at, at the actually start of the season we saw the media we saw all these like police i guess type people all around it surrounding it trying to protect it trying to see what's going on with it we had a crash hell wait a second this helicopter before was not crashed and this gate was not opened and it looks like there's a track marking guys i think something happened i think something happened in the last few weeks and if you guys come into here you can see inside the meteor there was actually a capsule and the capsule was open and if we look at the top of it you can you can see what what the design looks like if i'm gonna show you guys a picture right now on screen this picture right here this is a leaked image of what week eight's loading screen is going to look like now as you guys can see here this is the new blockbuster skin that has been revealed so once week eight challenges come out and stuff like that and we actually complete them we get this loading screen and we unlock the secret character which is this guy right here on screen so basically it resembles his helmet resembles the same exact thing right here as you guys can see it's the same exact thing so it looks like he escaped and there's like smoke coming out and I think once he escaped, he went out this way, this direction where the helicopter is, and he knocked it over, I guess. Because this helicopter, if you guys remember, it was never knocked over like that. And it looks like he's going this way. What is over here? What is what is on this direction? Okay, so we have tilted towers. Let's try to see, look around to see if we can find anything else. Um, we're trying to solve what the heck is going on in season eight because so far what we've covered if you guys missed the video Make sure to check it out I will leave a link to that video down in the description below But we covered what's been going on so far with the superheroes and supervillains But the guy escaped going this way and what is over here? It looks like there's nothing snobby shores evil villain layer that is actually where he probably escaped to he ended up coming over here to come to the super villain layer. Now this layer has a huge missile in it and we covered this, you guys. We covered basically what's going on and on screen, we're gonna cover each week's challenges, you guys. So for today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna break this down and find out what week's season four is all about. So starting off, we have the challenges. We have the weekly challenges, and we also get a loading screen once we complete all of that week's challenges. Now, week one, I covered this in my last video. It shows that they were on the set getting ready to make a movie, and then all of a sudden, the meteors start coming in and crashing. So this is basically from season three to season four. This is the start of it, it's week one. And then week two happened, and we have uh, the Omega, the evil Omega escaping from the prison because a meteor hit the prison. So this guy is supposed to be very evil. He's supposed to end up taking over, and we all thought that this was going to be the guy that released the bomb. He's the bad guy. He's a supervillain. Week three, we have the good people. We have the superheroes. We have the carbide with all his other teammates trying to find and locate where the Omega went, which means this, this means something. Either we're watching a movie or basically this is real life. Not real life, but Fortnite real life, you know? So we're trying to figure out what's going on. And then week four, it shows Omega is creating an army. He has the supervillain banner and stuff like that. He's creating an army and he's trying to do something he's got something planned week five it shows they are in a fight you guys here it shows that they're actually in a fight in tilted towers where the superheroes are fighting the super villains and we have omega fighting carbide we have the fly trap in the background we have all the superheroes and villains in here fighting with each other now this had me thinking maybe this isn't just a movie this might be actually the real thing this might be happening in the fortnite game where there is an actual super villain and we have superheroes trying to save it but then week six came out and we saw all all the characters on set they're all on set hanging out having a good time as you guys can see we have omega sitting there with a superhero we have fly trap in the background we have 
everyone's talking having a good time which means this means we're all wrong it's not a real life fortnite thing it's not really happening in fortnite we have the the huge super villain corporate thing in the background this is just a movie this is all basically a movie and that's all it's about but then week seven ended up getting leaked and we have the blockbuster skin now now this skin right here on screen right now it i don't i'm not too sure what this is supposed to mean it shows him escaping the capsule um but is he good is he bad because he came from outer space you guys got to keep in mind that this guy came from outer space so he did not come to planet earth supposedly for a movie it's not like they planned this out to be a movie so i think this is an actual alien this is someone that doesn't know what's going on he literally landed on earth and he's here probably to destroy it and while we're all sitting here thinking that it's all part of a movie act it's all part of a role little do we know this this is actually the real deal right here this blockbuster skin is the real super villain that's going to end up trying to destroy so in my opinion i think omega carbide and all of these all these actors they're gonna team up to try to take down the blockbuster skin the blockbuster skin is the actual evil person all these other characters they're they're gonna end up being good because they're all on the fortnite earth they're all basically on fortnite as one they're all people they're all hanging out they're all just making a movie and actually we have week eight leaked images of what the loading screen is going to look like so guys basically in week eight it shows that the blockbuster skin ended up making it to the super villain layer and he's about to set off the bomb you guys he's about to send the missile and launch it somewhere in the Fortnite map. Now here's my opinion on it, you guys. I, I wanna know all you guys' opinions down in the comment section below. I really wanna know, I'm gonna read all the comments and see what you guys actually think is going on. And let me know if you think my theory is correct. So basically, I think this blockbuster skin is a, the, the real super villain. Everyone else is going to end up teaming up. The Omega and Carbide, we're gonna see them side by side fighting. We, we're used to seeing them attacking each other because it was all part of the movie. But now we're gonna see them side by side fighting towards this blockbuster skin because this blockbuster guy, he's going to try to set off the missile. He's gonna try and send the missile to the Fortnite map. And in my opinion, I think it's gonna hit like Moisey Meyer or somewhere around that area, somewhere where it's kind of boring and plain because they're gonna wanna try to change the map a little bit to make it a little interesting. Interesting. Because from rumors, from what I've heard, Season 5 is going to have a completely new map. Now, I don't know if this missile is going to attack the entire map and change it up completely, or if it's just going to be in one section of the map where we're going to see dirt and desert area and stuff like that because the missile hit. I have no clue how that's exactly going to work, but that's just what I've heard from rumors that they want to change the map up tremendously in Season 5. So I think this supervillain, the actual true blockbuster skin, the supervillain is going to actually get this missile to be sent off but this is week eight so week nine and week 10 we only have two more loading screens that we have to find out the storyline of what's going to happen in season four so the omega is not the actual super villain and i, I really want to know your guys's opinion because not a lot of people pick this up not a lot of people notice it they're just playing the game trying to see what skins come out and stuff like that but in season three we were all so like paranoid and we we paid attention to things of the storyline we like we've looked at the media we watched the the tvs the, the news station ended up coming on tv saying warning we saw people say setting up on top of Tilted Towers with signs showing that the media was coming in and we were all ready for it. We, it was just crazy. But in this season, it's all in the loading screens. There's nothing really dramatically changing on the map that we can see, but we, we can notice the storyline with these loading screens. And so that's my personal opinion is I think the Blockbuster skin is the actual supervillain from another planet, another, I don't know where, but he's coming here to try to destroy the Fortnite map. Now, who knows if the Omega and Carbide are going to team up and actually save the world, but guys, I want to know your opinions down in the comment section below. And that's basically all I have for you guys in today's video covering what I think is going to be happening in the next few weeks with Fortnite. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys please, I know you guys can do this. Kill 400 likes on this video. You, you guys always do it. So if you guys break 400 likes, I'd appreciate that more than anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But wait, actually, before I end the video, I want to let you guys know, I know there was a shotgun update, and a lot of people had questions, like, is the double pump still worth it? Is the double heavy shotgun a thing? Like, what what do I need to be using because the, the shotgun nerf, you guys? So, basically, in tomorrow's video, if you guys need tips and tricks, that's exactly what we're going to show you guys in tomorrow's video. There's a few tips and tricks on how you're supposed to use the shotguns now, because the, the whole nerf with the shotguns and stuff like that. So, I'll show you guys in that video, and if you guys want to hang out in the live stream, I'm also live streaming tomorrow you guys can come over to the live stream we can watch videos and stuff like that twitch.tv slash exotic motion we're going to be talking hanging out having a good time playing with subscribers over there so if you do want a chance to play with me i play on ps4 so if you're pc or ps4 
we can play together xbox people i'm still working on the pc settings if you guys were at the live stream on actually monday yesterday you guys noticed that i was i was struggling because something with my obs i cannot live stream with pc games so i gotta try to figure that out but the second i get that figured out i promise you guys i will do an xbox pc crossplay with you guys over at twitch.tv slash exotic motion don't worry about it you guys I, I feel bad that xbox and ps4 they have this whole war going on between each other where they don't want to play with each other i don't know what it is but guys thank you so much for all the love support and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video peace <laughs>